All right, BoopTube. Ran into a fun issue today. As you can see, the truck is full of trash. I was gonna run to the dump today. Jumped in the truck, turned it on, crank, 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 no start. So it looks like from everything that I've read online, and I talked to Holly about it as well. The guy that I talked to was kinda yay or nay on ECU troubleshooting. He had, you know, the standard check this, do that kind of stuff to see if it was something like that. But anyways, to the point, um, the issue is the ECU either reads 20 volts or like it's like 19.8, 19.9, steady, like perfect, or it kicks on and it reads somewhere between 10 and 12 volts and it fluctuates even though the battery is only showing 12, 3, 12, 4 volts like it should. So to give you an idea, this is what it does. Make sure my radio is turned down. Booting. As you can hear, you didn't hear the fuel pump prime. That's one of the first issues that you know. Ignore that because I updated the firmware and it won't allow me to auto set it because it fails because there's a voltage issue. So you can see the voltages are just going nuts. Um, I've triple checked the battery. It's holding steady at 12.3, 12.4 volts. Coolant temp sensor is bouncing all over the place. It shows that we're like, you know, 10,000 feet, 12,000, 15,000 feet altitude. It should be closer to one or uh, negative one because I'm almost at sea level. And another issue that it shows is if you crank it, it doesn't show, it doesn't pick up uh, crank angles. So, um, even that time, it didn't even look like it was picking up oil pressure, but usually it picks up oil pressure. So, I'm now to the point to where um, Holly said with this issue to check and see if you have dirty 12-volt uh, switched. And uh, I checked that. I'm showing a tenth lower than what the battery shows when the, when you key on. So that's not the issue. Um, cleaned all the grounds. Uh, checked all the grounds. Wiggled all the grounds. Made sure they were all clean. Um, they even tried, uh, said to like, unplug sensors and plug sensors back in. I've pretty much unplugged everything from the engine harness and plugged it back in. That didn't fix it. Um, so, yeah. So I'm stumped. The only thing that I can think of is the uh, internal voltage regulator for like the 12 vi 5 volt system. Something has died in it and it's arcing and it's causing it to do weird things. Um, I don't know how the internals of those ECUs are set up. That would be my thought if, if it is the actual ECU that's the issue. Um, I can't tell. So, I guess I'm going to call Holly on Monday and see if they'll take this ECU and check it out. But, like, even the truck, like you see, kick the EC, kick the, and the truck even sees, you know, nice steady bolt. So, I don't know. The truck is get is got good ground, so I don't know why the ECU wouldn't have good ground. But um, I'm gonna link uh, down in the description the video or not the video, but the forum post that I pretty much followed uh, talking about this issue, um, so that you can read and follow up on it and see see you if you're experiencing this issue, um, and if that's the case. I think there's three or four people in that post and that string of forum posts that have had this issue and the only fix for it was replacing the ECU. Uh, luckily, all those sounded like Holly agreed to replace it after you sent it back. They checked it and it failed. So um, I don't know if my ECU is still under warranty or not, but either way, um, Holly's a good company to deal, deal with. If it's not 
and they're like, hey, we'll ship you one for like half off or something since it was something internal, then I would pay it. So, but anyways, so that's the story of my life. See you guys.